good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, LUTG Radio listeners. This is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio. That is Let Us Thank God. Amen. We survived another weekend. Praise the Lord. Amen. Most of y'all had a lot of joy. Hallelujah. Amen. I know y'all had to deal with the rain, but the sunshine was oh so sweet. Amen. It, uh, it's uh, 6.02 in the a.m. This April uh, 8th, 2013. And uh, for some of y'all, you're dealing with uh, the anniversary of a loss. Well, some of you are dealing with the anniversary of a birth or uh, an actual wedding anniversary. Amen. Some of you have a wedding divorce celebration. <laughs> uh, but whatever it is that you're trying to celebrate and remember the good things about, more props to you. And just know that God is with you no matter what. I know uh, there are a lot of people that don't don't believe that Jesus is Lord or they believe in uh, something else or someone else. Not knocking it. Not knocking it at all. Uh, but you just, I just want to let you know that uh, God is the creator. Jehovah is the creator. Uh, you're made in his image and the image of no one else. And he loves you. So even if you don't necessarily believe in Jesus because it's kind of hard because he was born a man. Just ask him, say, Jesus, are you real? Jehovah God, is this thing real, this faith thing? Show me. Show me how much you love me. Help me to understand you. Just show me. I want to know you. Show me. Amen. Amen. Yeah, uh, that's kind of what uh, Benny Hinn's family did. Y'all know the preacher Benny Hinn? Yeah, he wasn't always a Christian. No, his family was into that Hindu Indian uh, faith, but God, Amen. His uncle got saved first, and then the rest of them got saved. Yeah, Jesus loves him some you. All right, y'all. So uh, let's get it going with our scriptures. We got to keep the word before our eyes every day. Here we go. Now faith, Hebrew, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. <clears throat> Mark 9.23 Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Amen. Psalms 147.2 He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. And John 16 and 13 says just this. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. We hear from you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And I led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comfort of the Holy Spirit who leads us into all righteousness. 
Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against me, comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for, uh, for every mountain is moved and every closed or blocked door that is hindered. The preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus. We shall win every living and every uh, every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and increasing heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace, your blood. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify you, Lord God. Thank you, Jehovah. We are healed in our bodies and sealed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease uh, unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are, we are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptations. Submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God, Jehovah our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's word. The one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude to defeat those who accept defeat, do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We the people of God are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards. The beloved and a sign of God, we count it all joy until we we count all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God, and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us, his people, health and healing, and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor. In the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, Most assuredly I say to you, He who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. And can't nobody stop him from loving you. Remember that always. Amen. Remember that. Jesus loves you. we got an altar call coming up in about 15 minutes. But until then, there's music, music, music. Starting off with Skylar Kalen. Happily ever after. Happy ever after. to a place where worries erased they capture them all 
what this world may bring. Gotta remember, I still have a happy ending. Cause when I get to heaven, we gon' party all day long. We gon' praise God with our song. There will be no crying, sorrow, or pain. Cause all our past will be left behind us. All our troubles will be forgotten now. That's what I call a happy ever after in heaven. La 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 la. This world says that roses bring you joy, that girls are just a toy. Don't take that relationship seriously.
loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. He loves the way it sounds. Lord, lift those hands and say, one more time all over this room tonight. You are my Lord, you're awesome. And we pray. Praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We understand that you deserve the highest praise, Lord. So we praise you. Everything we have, all the hearts, all the mind, all the soul, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift those hands tonight and say, sing a love song to him. If you love him, sing it tonight. You're so awesome. Hallelujah. There's nobody greater than you, Lord. You are. Praise with All by Will E. Coleman. You can find his music at rradiomusic.com uh, as well as uh, willecoleman.com. And this is Kathy Brooks for LUTG Radio. It's about the time for salvation. Jesus absolutely loves him some you and all he wants to do <clears throat> is make sure that you have an eternity in love and in peace and in joy and in the light of God, the heart of God. And not in hell. Hell is uh, a place designed by God uh, for Satan. With uh, Basically, he took himself out of it. He created the entire thing. And then he removed the light. He removed the joy. He removed himself. And he doesn't want you there. Because he knows what he created. And he absolutely does not want you there in that darkness. He wants you with him in the light. He wants you beside him, not under his feet. Amen. God loves you. He absolutely does. 
For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Jesus loves you. No matter what you may have done in your past, no matter, uh, you know, what things may have transpired in your life, God loves you and he wants you to remember. And he wants you to understand for y'all for y'all that have never heard this is that he loves you and he's a redeemer he forgives your sin so whether or not you are someone that uh, deliberately set out to hurt someone else and maybe you got the person you intended to get or maybe you hurt another person by mistake or maybe you just wish you hadn't have done that or maybe you knew about it and you didn't do anything and now you're suffering God wants to know that he will deliver he wants you to know that he will deliver you from your hurt. He will deliver you from your, your shame. He will deliver you from your guilt, from your actions, from your sin. He will deliver you. Jesus loves you. He heal up the broken in heart and bind them up their wounds. So whatever it is that is causing you to grieve so much, so much. Jesus had told um, his soldiers uh, before he was taken and put on the cross, he was talking to them because he had been praying to God and he was saying to them uh, about how he was grieved and um, he said that he could feel <clears throat> he said that he could feel death coming on and he <clears throat> and um, he had said um, he was telling them about uh, he was telling them about um, about how it would be he said rise up let us go low to the uh low he that betrayeth me is at hand and uh I'm sorry that was that was another one before that he said that uh he was telling about the one that was deceit that will uh betray him one of the twelve one who is eating with me now for I the son of man must die as the scriptures declared long ago that how man is betrayed God a uh, good word for man that if he had never been born because he was going to hell for betraying Jesus and what had happened is the reason why he couldn't even call on Jesus is because he had no remembrance that he had that uh, deliverance was his and um well, I was looking for the one uh, with God, with, with Jesus. I'll find it and I'll show it to you later. But anyway, Jesus was saying that uh, he could feel death coming on. So, remember on the cross, Jesus said, uh, uh, Lord, why have you forsaken me? And he couldn't remember that God was with him. Because at that point, his thoughts and his emotions were just like man's. He went through everything that man would go through. So that he could deliver us from it. And that includes hurt and harm and distress and, and everything else. So I say all that to say is God loves you and he wants you with him. Uh, take this confession of faith and receive your forgiveness and your deliverance. Repeat this prayer. Raise your right hand or put your hand over your heart. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth, that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment. Jesus, I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Congratulations. Go to Facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio 247. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, baptized in the Holy Spirit. And remember that Jesus absolutely loves you. His love for you is eternal. And no one can take that love away from you. Amen. Remember that. And now follow me to segment number two, which is my peace. 
cable, sports, cartoons, movies, educational channels, something for the whole family. At rates, it's easy on your eyes, off on your bank account. Digital Landing Cable can offer monthly savings, easy billing. Hit a home run. Call Digital Landing Cable today. 1-877-355-5430. Digital Landing Cable. Sam Hankins, and I'm listening to LUTG Radio.